Pardon me, why don't you come over here? I need to ask you something quickly, my dear. Why do you always settle for something less? You know that, baby, you deserve it. sunshine, this beautiful day, the parachute and the hibiscus. Oh. I brought the lovely, 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 lovely hibiscus with me, the one with the cerulea flowers. And yeah, the large one <laughs> already dropped, <laughs> but there are a few more coming, so. And they are easily overwatered in this compact media. It's not that I don't need to be watered. They shouldn't really, really dry out all that much. But uh, this media is really, really compact. There are a lot of different factors to uh, take into account when growing these guys. And they are often really, really susceptible of getting um, mildew, this white-ish pest to its leaves. Yeah, they can easily be removed by green soft soap and alcohol and water solution. So, a couple of days later, <laughs> the little beauty is reported and she actually managed to open up the second bud here. Now we can see the glory of the cerulea colored flower. Yeah, in a quite large clay pot which has been used several times before, so the pores are already saturated. I repotted her with lacquer beads to the bottom, a thick layer, regular plant soil, mixed up with a little bit of charcoal, cut charcoal, and a bit of pumice for a little bit more drainage and aeration to the media. For the first couple of weeks, it will need to be irrigated a bit more frequently, as always, which goes for regular orchid care as well. The media needs to be a little bit more saturated, uh, more frequently watered to keep the moisture a bit longer, a bit better. And after time, it certainly will. <laughs> and this goes for, of course, regular houseplants as well, so such as this one. Yes. But I found that now, when she's reported into fresh medium, um, she will take off like a rocket. Yeah, with some good light, she will really, really take off. I've seen it before on the ones I had way back. <laughs> Seropedia African parachute. Yeah, look at it. Isn't she amazing? She's really gorgeous. This flower. Interesting. And I think I got the best one, with most number of buds and stuff coming. And uh, lots of new growth, yeah, up to the air. Really, really beautiful. And this little cactus palm tree. But it's doing great there in the window, so it's not only orchids. And I also have this one, this passion fruit flower. <laughs> Yeah, what's its name? Yeah, Passiflora cerulea. Yeah. But anyway, it's a passion fruit bloom, as you can see on the picture. 27 crowns, Swedish crowns. Yeah, not even 3 euros. Well, I couldn't resist. I got it from Lidl, the German grocery store. We also have that one in Sweden. Yeah. It's a nice one as well, for that price. Yeah, as I said, I couldn't resist, of course. And as a nice YouTuber, uh, put a glorious comment in the comment section below on 
uh, one of my previous videos, he said that the droplets from the fog being produced from the uh, humidifier, of the fogger here, yeah, they, they are too small, too tiny for the um, hygrometer to even be able to read. That's why Corin went out again shopping and got a goodly good hygrometer, 40 euro one. Yeah, 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 a little hole there into my wallet one more time. But anyway, he told me at the store as well that this one was more suitable to put in a humid position than the other ones were. So they were kind of right <laughs> on the same track, really. And immediately, now you can see, out means in the locker, 99% humidity, 23 degrees. 0.6 Celsius that is and as you can see on top is the amount of humidity I have got in this particular room where I'm standing where this locker is uh, my kitchen and 26.8 yeah let's see what the maximum and minimum temperature really was during night time here maximum 27.9 minimum 23 and 48 at a minimum so uh, 27.9 and 23 is about 5 degrees change, uh, difference between the highest and the lowest. So that's, um, that's not, <clears throat> there, how to do it, yeah, like this. Ah, I have to reset it each time after I've been touching the uh, maximum and minimum, but I... Uh, uh, yeah, I, I will soon figure out how I, I forgot <laughs> how many times I was supposed to press the little button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, really good. Five degrees. I filled up this locker a little bit too much for my own liking. So I moved the yeah, two large vanders. And this um, uh, Wrinkle Reader's Bangkok Sunset is loving it in there. So he will also stay. And here are the two larger vanders hanging. Yeah. They're gonna hang here in southeast facing window, uh, where my old vans always used to hang, with good results. And the roots are gonna be free from media. No touching, no dunking into a bucket of water. They're gonna be sprayed and hosed. And that's it. No breaking on the roots. Could cause bacteria where they're cracked. As for here, you can see there. Can cause some bacteria growth. I would like the roots to uh, develop nicely down there, that glass base or anything, and it's going to be great. And yeah, the two uh, tricolor are sitting in my kitchen window for now. Maybe they like it in here much better. It's a good spot. But if you see here, my perfume pedalums are really really doing tremendously well and you can see the gorgeous gorgeous Puffy Pedalum Rochellianum to the middle next to the uh, Rinko Reader's Bangkok Sunset to the right yeah look at it it's really really thriving producing a new little root down there and the um, Pinocchio Puffy Pedalum Pinocchio I'll also put that guy in inside here it's starting to bloom again on the same spike. Yeah, it took a break for about one month or even more. So, uh, and all of a sudden it started to bloom again since I put it into this locker. So, yeah, that's really, really great. Good achievements on a lot of orchids in here. Dendrobium sommelier, look. Uh, Cattleya genmanii, the small one, look at its latest growth. It was really, really tiny when I first put her into this uh, cabinet. Kitlea, eerie color. <laughs> Doing great as well. <laughs> Lots of new stuff coming. This orchid, the mounted um, Psychopsis. Yeah, it's newest growth. Well, yeah, it's not running off yet, at least. And it's still sturdy. Yeah. And what else? Um... Things are doing great in here. 
uh, and this um, Stanhopia tigrina, Nigro Valacia. A few new growth coming. Brassavola nodosa. New growth again. And this one created, created in here. Phalaenopsis japonica. It's doing really well. Uh, it's a lot going on, but uh, the best results are really, really, really got on the puffy petalums. Yeah. It's a gorgeous one. I got from um, Orchids and More one year ago for 25 euro. It's a good size plant now, so this lovely little root coming. First visible sign of any new growth except for leaves on this one. Well, uh, about the watering routine, um, I used my large five liters uh, pump sprayer. Yeah, yeah already done. <laughs> Pumping the water, yay. Well, I can stay one meter away. I shower them. Like this. I usually um, put a little bit of uh, fertilizing to the water, and sometimes I even fill the little. Um, Humidifier up with just a small amount of fertilizer. Yeah. But this is really, really, really easy. And <laughs> the humidifier even, I mean, keeps the, um, the ones still in pots hydrated. Even these guys, I thought they would be overwatered in no time, but they seem to enjoy it this far. We shall see um, for this one. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous root system and it's hydrated, but there is a little bit of water down there, so maybe, maybe, maybe put it a little bit away uh, <laughs> someday, any day soon, but uh, for now it's working. Yeah, just shower them and it's really, really fun. And at the same time, you can see the progress on them, see what's going on, and have a really, 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 really swell time together with your orchids. I won't even have to do it each and every day. <laughs> that kind of high humidity. And I wasn't the one who uh, did the settings on the uh, humidifier uh, with the timer and everything uh, and at what time it was supposed to uh, be switched on and turned off and so on and so forth. It was a gal who had this um, set before, shall we say. This cabinet before me. The timers kept the settings, of course. And I just uh, happened to find them quite uh, functional, <laughs> so I didn't change anything. So the humidifier switched on exactly at the same hours the way she had it. So I'm um, kind of happy. It makes me start to think about get <laughs> 80,000 more cabinets and put into my apartment. Yeah, I didn't know that the difference would be this huge, yeah, on growing orchids on a windowsill compared to growing them in a cabinet. It's one of the best things I've ever done for my orchids, to get this one. All right, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, please, and we shall talk soon, and take care. Bye-bye.